people I am back mainly for another video for myself help motivate myself to take care of this big beauty I called him my elephant butt because if you can see he's got a ton of this, the lighting is horrible because I'm outside but he has a little butt on him a little tail see his little tail and then the other side you know I'm not going to say anything about that, but then he's got his two legs. But he does have this tiny little tail, like right here. Anyways, I got him because look, he's, he's broke. So let's see if I can, if I tilt you down more, maybe you could see a little bit better. There you go. I need to get me a new phone case. Set that stuff up. There we go. All right, so we are going to take this baby apart. I got him half off because this side of him is no longer connected down in here. It is so crazy what they do to these guys. Now, I just brought a bowl that's helping hold my phone up, and I'm just going to pop this moss out. And I just kind of see what we got going on in here. Oh, there's an actual nursery pot inside of here. So, in order to fix this guy, I gotta get all this stuff out, and these rocks on the other side are weirdly glued. Why would they do this to this baby? It's like, this baby suffocated, see? He was dead already. Why did he suffocate? Well, because they glued him. Oh my goodness, if you could see this side where I'm getting the rest of this moss. Look at these rocks. They are glued. Um, so I got some little cutters to kind of help pop them out. I just can't believe that they've seriously glued rocks. They like... It's not hot glue either. It's more like E6000. It's like a rubber cement. Feel. Oh, there we go. That wasn't as hot as I thought. Okay. Now that we got this little nursery pot out of the big pot. This has no drainage, so for them to stick this baby in here, it needed to come out because I'm not surprised if it's not suffering from root rot right now. So let's see if we can get some of these rocks to peel up. Oh, look at that, look at that. Okay, so I wonder if this succulent right here can be saved. I'm going to pull some of these rocks and this moss off. See where its roots at. This baby had no chance. This little guy, he won't quit falling over on me. So I'll peel off the rocks at least until I get close to possibly Oh, let's break this right here and see. Ah. Yep, it's completely, completely dried out. No survivable root. Hi, Rocky. There we go. Take this. I'm going to try to save this. Take these dry leaves off. She don't want to come in. Come on. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry for a few days and see if I can maybe propagate it. This stuff, I'll save the rock so I don't have to step on them and throw the rest in the ground. Now let's see what we got here. So when you pop them out, I just kind of want to slide it. Now... Um, what am I trying to say here? Bonsai trees don't like very big bases. 
Neither do succulents. They like smaller containers. So I'm trying to get down to this root system. It's very good soil. Oh, there we go. So see, you can start seeing some of this root. Some of these roots, they're still pretty good intact. Quite a bit of dirt. Just barely pinch at the dirt. Because I really don't want to damage what roots are left since this whole side maybe if i submerge this we'll have some roots and then this i'll submerge along with the rest of this so let me go find a pot that will be big enough for this little guy okay so i'm back and i grabbed so it was in this one and you usually only go up one inch size but this baby is a big boy so if you can notice the size i went up um, more than just one inch. The best thing to do that I have seen, let me separate these bowls. Give me just a moment. Separate these two little bowls. And I choose to use scissors instead of something to just cut these. I mean... Okay, so, sorry. Losing my mind. So I'm just going to cut this. What, baby? He locked you in there? He left you in there? It's not a big deal. So here's all the moss and the rocks that I took out of the top. This, I am actually going to dig some of this dirt out. And I'm going to show you a really, really way, a really, really easy way to uh, transplant. So you yeah, take the cup that it yeah, was in, which, yeah, again, homie. this is a yeah, way homie. bigger cup. Y'all yeah, go over there and play, please. So you put your pot down in there just like that, okay? And then you start taking your dirt. And you pack your dirt all around. And it's okay if you get it in the cup. Because you're pulling the cup out. Make sure you tuck it in there really, really good. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? Did you poop? Okay, so now that I have it all packed in there, I'm going to just twist gently. Twist the inside of this cup gently. Pop it out. You're left with perfect circle down in there and then usually your plant you just take it right out of the cup and plop it down in there and it's perfect in this case since the pot was way too big I am doing a video on this bonsai tree see this is perfect size for it Oh, go see what Trip wants. So then I can just take, I'm going to use some of the soil that came with it. Because I feel like, you know, he, he grew up in this soil for so long and then all of a sudden I change it on him. I think he still needs to be familiar. That's my opinion. I don't know. Maybe stupid. No stupid comments, please. I don't. Probably will never see it. Um, again, so then I'm just filling it in. And a little bit around the edges right here to hold his legs in. And then right here, fill this side of his leg in. Oh, there's some moss. Now, now that I really have all that I need I can start putting if I want I can put the moss back in here which keeps them helps it keep its moisture so I am gonna do that just kind of stuff it back in there kind of lay across the top like that we'll put some back on this side Just 
with it and try and make it go fair. I'm running out of it because, there we go, I guess I'm not really, man, that was a lot of moss for that tiny little cup. I sure did want to cover it up. Now, since these are just glued together, if I want, I could just kind of prop them in there. I mean, it's not like it's going to do it any damage. But that way, you know, since it still has moss on the rocks, it's not hurting anything to prop these babies back in here. Uh-oh. The kids left the door open. Shut the door. Shut it and go play. Okay, now we have a bigger bonsai, but it is too big for the pot it came in, so we'll have to find a different insert for this after I wash it fully. So, thank you for watching. I will. Try to remember to keep this little baby up to date. And we'll keep an eye on this bonsai tree and see if he starts growing a little bit now that he's not suffocated. And I don't think I like these rocks in there. I would like to say thank you. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more plant videos. And have a wonderful day.